knew an engineer once that could work on people's brains without surgery or computers. He'd ask a series of questions and somehow through his method damaged brains would heal. Well, I am an engineer too, but I use computers. A person's trash could be treasure if one builds on it and works hard in the process. Personally, I want to design a new system, a computer that responds to the brain. If I achieve my dream, I will be remembered with all the masterminds in computer history. That's awful. And whatever you did to the network just fried another machine. You know, that's four machines that you're gonna owe me. You'll get in all kinds of trouble if anyone knows you have these parts. Okay, all right, hang on. And I've gotta start the download all over again. I think I can get around this encryption. Wait, I think it's something else. You're totally delusional if you think I believe your ridiculous story. Never mind that. I know you don't believe in computer telepathy anyway. No, I don't. I don't believe in you at all, but I do have two things to say. One, if telepathy worked, then we wouldn't have to torture our terrorists to find out who their leaders are. Two, if you have a huge file, you can try this modified hard drive. I'm putting together something no one has ever... What is this? I've never... Huh. I found a really large file I need for this process. I'll wait for it to download. This is not normal. You're telling me... What were you thinking? You had no business. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait. Print that out. Print it now. Now I'm nervous. I have the GPS, and I'll find the author of this seemingly infinite file. Hello? Is there anyone there? Do you have any allergy pills? Some of my friends are against taking medications, but I just can't seem to beat these wretched afflictions. I don't have any pills. Do you know how I found you? Don't really care. Have a seat. You really should give up on computers. There is no point anymore. How did... Who are you? I'm a man of the earth. And you know about my file? Your file? Listen, how much do you know about the ancient Babylonians? The ancient Babylonians? I, I haven't studied them much. Good. That'll mean my story will be more interesting. You, my adventure, 
found the ancient Babylonian's hard drive. And on that drive, it's infinite. None of this makes much sense. No, it doesn't. History is like that. The concepts of a culture cannot translate to the concepts of another culture. You know, a month ago, I would have stayed away from something like this. But now, I'm strangely interested. The map in this book will lead to the infinite fire. There's a catch. So how do you know all this? Never mind that. I want to find the file as bad as you. I'm still not sure I understand. It's about searching for your dreams. What good will it do? You've always wanted to build a telepath computer. Now you know what exists. Find the gold key, the password, and the crystal. And you'll find the idea behind your future invention. Okay, where do I start? You sure you don't have any bills? Sorry, but I don't take medication. The ancient days of Babylon. The city engineering built a city of gold. The technology was so advanced that living conditions were more progressive than today. The city held secrets that were never discovered by anyone. Some kind of drug was in the water supply so that when anyone drank, they fell under a spell of drink, inter intercepting brain waves. And when they established their kingdom, a database of a common world secret until outside explorers fell under the hypnotic wave of electricity. Then, the engineered machine took over, and even the leaders fell under out. the spell. The entire kingdom was burned Tower to the ground. Babel was raised. <laughs>